Hello, everybody. Okay. Welcome. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe like that. Okay. Hello, everybody. Okay. What we're going to do. I've been taking a sourdough master class by Dr. Bill Schindler. I'm going to show you how I make my starter. Um, I, I can't tell you exactly what I learned in this class, but I'm going to show you how I make my starter slash mother for my sourdough. So you have to make your mother or starter or you buy one from somewhere. You let it ferment. Uh, it's like four to seven days it takes before it's a true mother starter for your sourdough. And then you never have to make one again uh, if you just keep feeding it. Um, you can keep it forever. So I'm going to turn on my scale. It's really important that you use a scale instead of measuring cups. There are ways to use measuring cups and whatever, but this is really easy. This is the easiest way to do it because that's what I do. The easiest way to do everything. So I have my scale. It's a good scale. I'm going to use a glass jar and that has a lid I can lightly cover or just, you know, you put some paper towels. You want to lightly cover the lid so no bugs or anything gets in, but you want air to get to it. So I'm just going to use a glass jar. Okay. A glass bowl, whatever. And we're doing... And I'm going to tear that. We're doing 50 grams of unbleached, preferably organic, flour. I'm going to use bread flour. I'm going to use half bread flour and half. Um, you can use anything. Some people use a little bit of rye because it helps. It, um, it helps it. I'm going to use 25 grams of all purpose and 25 grams of bread flour. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, just so old. Okay. Ah. So I'm doing 25 bread, 25 all purpose. You can mix and match however you want. Make sure it's unbleached. Your flour needs to be unbleached. This is a good brand, King Arthur. Unbleached is really important. Unbleached. So I'm going to do 25 grams. So I'm going to do 25 grams of. I'm doing 25, 50 grams all together. Whatever unbleached flour you want to use, all purpose is fine. Bread flour is good because it helps because it has more gluten. You could do ancient grains like einkorn or whatever you want. So I'm doing 20, I personally just doing 25 grams of unbleached organic bread flour and I'm going to do 25 grams of an organic all-purpose flour that's also unbleached. I think, I hope that's unbleached. Okay, here we go. So there's 15 grams. There's 25. Okay. So that's the... Um, 25 grams spread flour. And then, what is this? Here. Oh, this is my sprouted wheat. I don't think I can use. I don't think I can use sprouted. I don't think it needs. I don't know. I'm gonna use. Ugh. My organic all purpose now. Oh no. I hope this is blue. Organic wheat flour, organic malted barley. Okay, that's not bleached. So now I'm using just from Whole Foods my organic all purpose. It's not as unbleached. 
And I'm going to do 25 grams of this. So I tear it back to zero. It's 11. It's 19. 21. We're so close. Twenty six. Twenty five. Okay. So I'm just gonna stir those together a little bit. Okay. So then you tear that, and it's 80% hydration, so it's 50 grams of the flour. Ugh. Okay, let's put this up there. There we go. So it's 50 grams of flour, and then 40 grams of filtered water. So you want it to be filtered water. We don't want to stir from the tap. We don't want... Because it has chlorine and that messes it up. Filtered water, nothing added. Okay, 40 grams. I have my zero water pitcher. I'm going to add 40 grams of water. So close. Boom. Oh, that's 41, but I think it's okay. Okay. And then I like to use a little... Uh, I like to use my... I know, I look like like disheveled, don't mind me. I like to use my little um, spatula. It's very tiny. It's a little spatula. I love it. Anyway, so that's done. We can take this off of the... Take this off of the scale. Put your scale up and, and treat your scale well, well so it doesn't get, um, you know, messed up. And you stir this together. Mix it well. Okay. A little square shaped bowl. This together. You don't want any on the sides. Make sure it's mixed well. Okay, just mix it really, real well. I mean, if you need, you could add a touch more flour. You don't really want any dry bits. If you see there's dry bits, um, but really mix it. No dry bits. If you see dry, like really dry pieces, add a touch more water. But mix it really well. Oh, there shouldn't be any dry bits, so if you mix it real well, I scrape down the sides of the container. People do 100% hydration, and that seems to work for them. I'm doing what Dr. Bill Schumer told me to do because he studies ancient food techniques and um, processes and all that stuff. Okay, have it up on the side a little bit. Oh, dang it. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's very sticky. It's 80% hydrated. Okay. It's very hydrated. It's, it's not 
I used to make one that was less hydrated than this. Or more, I'm sorry, more hydrated than... I think 80% here is like... The least amount of hydration, so... It's just barely hydrated. Very sticky. Okay. That's what it looks like. Can you see that? It's like dark in my kitchen. Sorry about that. This is kind of like moving. But it's very sticky. Okay. So that's what it should look like. And then you just cover this lightly. Um, have a lid. It goes with this. But it's like this kind of a lid, but whatever. I'm just going to put it over gently. Just rest it on top. And I'm going to put this in my oven. So, although it's very humid in my house, I have my oven light on, as you can see. Because it gives it just a really warm environment to hang out in and then tomorrow I'm going to come back and I'm going to sh and we're going to do the second step and we're going to do this until it develops properly all right so come back and see what I do tomorrow